All right, whether you like Apple or not, it doesn't change the fact that they are forced to reckon with in the smartphone industry, not just in the smartphone industry, but also within the entire tech industry. Like, it's a company which is like a trillion dollar company. So there's a lot of things that Apple is doing right, obviously, in terms of branding, in terms of hardware, software, so many products that they have. But then when it comes to the iPhones, there are some features which are lacking on the iPhones, which just blows my mind, okay? And these are not like hardware features, of course. They are like hardware features which the iPhones are lacking that most Android devices have. But these are like the basic, the most basic of software features that I expect any iPhone at all to have. So I have here the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I have here the iPhone 11. And all these phones are really like fantastic iPhones. Now there are three things that I believe that we need in the next major iOS update, which is iOS 14. And especially if we are getting the iPhone 12, we need these features, just three basic features. And let's talk about it coming up next. Have you ever felt are you listening? Damn. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Reviews and you're wondering why I'm smiling. Okay, wait till the end of the video, you would understand. So, Apple has been making these fantastic phones that are super overpriced and people are buying it, selling their kidneys, their liver to buy it. Okay, and I feel that there are certain things that Android devices have, not just even Android devices like MP3 players, so many things like Playstations, games, all manner of things have, which are lacking on the iPhones and I believe these are the like the very basic of features, software features which doesn't take a lot to implement and it blows my mind as to why in 2020 we still don't have these features on an iPhone. Now the very first one is the ability to multitask. A phone with such a huge screen like the iPhone 11 Pro Max at least should be able to have two apps running, one at the top, one at the bottom. Okay, and considering that it has like one of the fastest processors on any smartphone in 2020, the A13 Bionic processor, at least I should be able to, you know, watch YouTube and then also compose a mail or send a text message, play iMessage games, do WhatsApp, Telegram at the same time. And it's really important to me because I, I think YouTube is the app I use the most any given day. And when I go on YouTube, it's not just to watch content. Sometimes I just want to listen to music. Like, I like Daddy Lumba a lot. Daddy Lumba is a Ghanaian-based music artist. Okay, and when you are listening to music, you don't want to be watching the screen unless, like, it's a music video. So I wish that I could be listening to the music or some, sometimes you're listening to, like, a tutorial or a podcast or a how-to or something. And you don't necessarily want to look at the video. You want to be doing other things at the same time. And you know, YouTube doesn't allow you to run their app in the background. YouTube, I think you also need to do something about this. Let the YouTube app be able to run in the background if the person is listening to music or audio content on YouTube, at least. So back to the issue. If I'm listening to music, I want to be able to listen to music or even if I'm watching a video on YouTube and at the same time compose a meal, or I'll be using the video as like research content and I should be able to open my browser and still go into Google and find other content, especially like if I'm writing my script for my videos and all that. But unfortunately, you can't do this on any iPhone, but you can do it on an iPad. And apart from the fact that you can do it on an iPad, you can do it on like Android devices, which cost $100, $50, $60. And it's amazing why we don't have the ability to multitask on any iPhone even as at now. Now the next software feature or user experience feature for iPhones that I wish all iPhones had, which we don't, that I wish will be released in the next update, is the ability to like close multiple apps at the same time. So like, it's tied to kind of like the multitasking I'm talking about. So here you can see I have a lot of apps open in the background and I want to be able to, you know, like close, I want to be able to close all of them at once, but I don't get that option. I need to do it one at a time or there's a hack you can use two fingers to close two at a time or another hack where you can use three fingers to close it three at a time. But why don't you just give us a button which says close all down here and then we can just close all. 
all Android devices I know have this option to be able to close all apps at the same time. I mean, time is of the essence, guys, please. This is something so basic that you should be able to deliver for us. And the last thing which I just can't get, okay, is the fact that I am unable to have an option to just restart my phone. So if you don't press the power button and the volume down button on your iPhone 11 Pro Max, you get the option to slide to power off and then you get emergency SOS and cancel. This big space between these two buttons or whatever, we could have reset i mean restart your device here so that's it for this video if you are new to my channel i do mobile phone reviews mobile app reviews and i bring to you affordable gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision like when you are making your next purchase because like gadgets are expensive like this is expensive so you need to know whether you should buy this or not special shout outs to adam ajaho she's also a content creator on youtube and i think you should check out her channel really awesome amazing content and she watches the video till the end i know a lot of people don't watch the videos to the end but she does watch the videos to the end and she leaves relevant meaningful comments and sometimes people watch and they would want you to know they watch or they say hi or something of the sort but she watches and she she engages and i really like that kind of engagement and I really appreciate it. And apart from that, special shout outs to Karen and special shout outs to Anna, special shout outs to Rick, special shout outs to Nian AJ, and special shout outs to all the recent subscribers who came from like India, the Philippines, the United States, everywhere in the world. If you watch this far and you are seeing these shout outs, mention your name in the in the comments below and I'll give you a special, a special shout out in the next video. <laughs> Thanks, Mabry. Now, there are three things that I believe we need in the next major iOS update, iOS 14. Come on, guys. Listen. Okay. There are... Now, there are three things that I... <clears throat> Hi, guys. So, welcome. Hi, guys. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Reviews. Now, I've used a lot of iPhones. I have the iPhone 7, I have the iPhone X, and I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And these are really, really good phones, of course, except with the... Hi guys, welcome to another edition.